Clyde Property in Perth, award winning letting and estate agents. Proud sponsors of Saints TV. I can't, you know, fault the players. I mean, they were excellent. Uh, they give everything for the club. Again, and I say we keep asking, you know, this group of players to, you know, come up with results for us, and, and they nearly did it tonight. And I feel extremely disappointed for them. They put a lot into the game. Thought first half was more like us. We passed it well, competed well, put balls in the box, asked questions. Stevie May could have had another goal, but for a tremendous save. Al Manis makes a good save, and I think deservedly, you know, with the amount of possession and, and ball we had in the final third, we deserved to be one up. We just didn't pass it as well as we did in the first half, and that could be down to one or two things. You know, it's an extremely warm night here. Uh, you know, and it might have been a little bit of tiredness crept in. I think as well they stepped up a little bit and pressed us a little bit harder and worked a little bit harder to stop us passing. And that's when we've got maybe to be a little bit braver and 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 try and keep control of the ball. But you know, over the you know over the 90 minutes and over the time since I've been over, you know, I've been the manager of the club to be unbeaten away from home in Europe. Even though we didn't get through tonight and we didn't get through against Mint, is uh, is something that they should all be proud of. Uh, do you feel we deserve to win the game tonight? No, I think uh, I think we we probably deserved it one 0 because we did make a, a poor mistake for the for the goal and that can happen. Uh, but I think we deserved one 0 I don't think you know, overall we probably, but with the second half performance, done enough to get through in the tie. Uh, Liam Cadams came back in. He's a player that you, you like to use in Europe, isn't he? Well, he's a player I like, and he's a player that I've told him he needs to. You know, step up the mark this season. He'll get opportunities, and I think he did it tonight again. Which slightly, slightly changed how we played. We put Chrissy Miller in front of the back four, and he done another excellent job. It was, you know, and, and young Scott Brown. Well, people look at him and think maybe he was dropped. He wasn't dropped. He was, he was left out for tactical reasons, and I think it worked. You know, uh, Liam Carris. I always feel there's a goal in Liam, and he does get forward well. And again, him and Scott Brown, along with Chris Kane, are, are three players that you know hopefully we'll have big hopes for this season. And how did you see the two the two goals tonight? I thought our goal was excellent, which I would say. Uh, great finish for Stevie. And I'm disappointed with, with, with our goal. And you know, Gary knows he should have done better. Uh, I think in the context of the game and how it turned out, you know, it, 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 it's almost irrelevant because we, we, we didn't look as if we could get that second goal in the second half. And just looking towards Sunday, it would be important to get the SPFL uh, Premiership uh, season off to, off to a flyer on Sunday. Yeah, we have a tough week, uh, you know, three games in a week, and that's all the SPL clubs have. But, you know, the good thing is, uh, you know, Paul Smith and, and Abby Ramsey have been able to, you know, organising the trip and get us home tonight, uh, the early hours of sorry, Friday morning. And that'll give us a good you know, boost in terms of helping with recovery. Um, we'll do a light session uh, Saturday and we'll travel up to, to Ross County and look forward to a new season and uh, we'll go into the new season with a lot of optimism uh, you know, on the back of what I think what we've achieved in Europe this season again and what we did last season uh, it's no secret I do I still feel that we, you know, the squad we've Adam Morgan coming in but we don't know Stevie May's situation and I, I do feel that we need one or two players in to give the squad a bit of a lift and uh, and hopefully, you know, that'll happen. But, uh, you know, at the minute, we're looking forward to going up to Dingwell. Just finally, just a word for the, I think it was 140 St Johnston fans that made the trip over here. Yeah, I'm, you know, pleased to see them and, and you know, the coming and that numbers because it's quite an expensive summer for them. Uh, you know, with the trip to Luxorne and, uh, you know, this trip again. But I'm sure they would have loved another one. But, you know, I can, I mean, the players respect and, 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 and really play for the fans. They know what they do for them. You know, we, we you know, always get criticised for being small in numbers, but we certainly make up for for the commitment that they make to the club. And, you know, the 140 odds that came tonight show tremendous commitment to the team and to the club. And I'm just, you know, I'd like to thank them, but, uh, you know, say sorry that we just couldn't pull it off in the end.